Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Mica effect that's currently been tested in Microsoft Edge for Desktop, as many of you may know, is an opaque dynamic material that incorporates the theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived windows such as apps and settings. And this is currently being tested in preview. And if you enable an experimental flag in the stable version, you can see that the title bar, if I move that around with the marker effect enabled, picks up that dynamic material, an opaque material from the desktop wallpaper. Now, this is not a default feature currently in the stable version, but I did post a video previously on how to enable the marker effect, the Windows 11's marker effect in the title bar of Edge if you would be interested, and I'll leave that video down below. Now, just to let you know um, that as I posted a couple of days ago, if we head over to Microsoft Edge Canary 122, which is the latest preview version, uh, Microsoft had changed the description of the setting that enables the marker effect where the description of the toggle that enables the uh, marker effect had been updated in Edge Canary 121, uh, which back then, when I posted a couple of days ago, was the latest preview version. And I'll leave that video down below because I mentioned that Windows 11's marker effect in Edge could finally be getting enabled by default because Microsoft had changed a couple of wording and the description of the actual setting. Now, just to let you know once again that the description for the actual setting show windows 11 visual effects in the title bar and toolbar has once again been updated by microsoft and there's another important change in the description of the option that enables the marker effect uh, in edge canary 122 which is the latest preview now where the word preview has been removed in edge canary which is an important um, a small yet an important uh, step kind of in the right direction of Microsoft enabling the marker effect in Edge. Because if we head back to stable and we just head back to that settings page quickly where uh, on the appearance page, we can see it still says preview. So it's very much still in its infancy in the stable version. But if we head back to Canary, preview has been removed. So this is a very good indication once again that Microsoft is thinking of enabling the marker effect uh, in Microsoft Edge for desktop uh, as a default feature with that option, obviously that setting becoming an option if you want to disable it or enable the actual marker effect. And yeah, you can see in Edge Canary, it not only picks up the title bar with that flag enabled, but it's picking up that des desktop background opaque dynamic material effect in the title bar, the toolbar, and the sidebar. So it seems uh, that in up and coming stable versions, Microsoft now is getting serious um, about giving us the option to enable the setting now by default because obviously now, because preview has been removed, uh, it means that um, that's another step in the, in the right direction where it's now becoming more stable and this could eventually roll out as a default feature. But nonetheless, I'll keep you guys posted as always with these little changes and up and coming changes in Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.